Here it is, my pal, our ticket to paradise. Let me see. Hey, wasn't that my candle? No, but we need a locksmith. The kind who doesn't ask any questions. I know about one, if he's not in jail. Could he make a duplicate? Sure. So go and ask him. I've done enough already. Very well. I admit that. But I won't lift a finger for you at night. Just don't do anything stupid and everything will be okay. And go now, otherwise you won't make it. Jesus, you're worse than my mother. How do you know? You've never met her. <laughs> Damn, you're right. As soon as he gets up, I'll catch a quick nap. I think this will be a pretty wild night. When I'm staring at the ceiling, not able to fall asleep, I wonder whether it was such a good idea to flee to Plymouth. Maybe I'm just kidding myself about America. I guess it's the same mess there as it is here. But if I don't get there, or at least try to, I'll regret it for the rest of my life. I simply have to do it, no matter who I have to rob. Those fat cats on Paradise Street were robbing others so they could live like pigs in clover. Now they'll be the ones robbed instead. The time has come. What are you waiting for? Let's go. Or are you too scared? No, not at all. Well, maybe just a bit apprehensive. Okay, I'll go first, then you, you chicken. Are you waiting for something, Brian? I can't open the damn gate. These keys are good for nothing. Yeah, because those aren't the gate keys, you dimwit. Damn, I'm wasting my time here. Let's climb over the wall. I'll take another way. We'll see who gets there first. Okay. Let's meet at the back door. Be quiet. He could wake up. Who? The servant. He fell asleep on the terrace. Watch out. He has a gun. That's not possible. Trust me. He has a gun. We have to go through the main entrance. We can't. We only have the cellar key and the terrace door key. Hmm. That's too bad. Do you have a plan? We can go through the cellar. What are you talking about? The vault is in the workroom. Yeah, the maid said there's a secret passage. But we don't have time to search the cellar now. Oh, come on, pal. Can you imagine how much booze there is? If we don't find the passage, at least we can have a merry night. Then think what we could get up to after that. <laughs> All right, you've convinced me. It's been a long time since I had a good wine. Just don't break anything. Give me the keys. I wonder which idiot blocked the lock up with the cork. This is a good joke. At first I blocked the door with the cork and now I've got to get it out. Hey Tim, what the hell are you doing? Let me be. I'll be there in a minute. Shake a leg for God's sake.
done. The cork is out. Hey, Tim. How long will it take? You're even slower than my granny. It's done. Let's go in. Wait. I'm going first. It's pretty dark in here. So where do we start? I can't see anything. I told you this is stupid. So light the candle. We need light or we'll never find the passage. But won't the light be visible through the windows? It doesn't matter. We can cover them. Someone could come. Then we'll smash his face in and tie him up. What if he calls the police? We'll escape through the sewers. They'll shoot at us. Then we'll shoot back. But we don't have any guns. We'll steal some. And before you ask, we'll take some gold as well to buy the boat tickets. Do you want to know anything else? Just to make it clear, I am the brains behind this operation. Uh, yeah, right. Of course. Find a piece of junk and do something with the windows. Without light, we're lost. <laughs> now you're talking. it doesn't have window shutters. Telling me to cover the windows is easy enough, but how the hell do I actually do it? Pity it doesn't have window shutters. It'd be possible with a wooden board. The rag is useless here. <laughs> Heavy as a bull. I can't move it. There's probably rainwater in it. I'm not a gardener. I'll try to loosen the cork, but I don't want to make too much noise. Cheap rubbish. The blade is wrecked. Repulsively soggy. I can think of only one thing I can do now. It's disgusting. If I threw it on the wall, it would stick there like a bee to honey. I'm not going to chat with him now.
This one's done. This should do. And if not, his highness may do it himself. Brian? Where are you? Down here in the cellar. Stop shouting. What the hell are you doing there? I'm looking for a passage agent. It was your stupid idea. And have you found anything? Yeah, there's plenty of alcohol in here. A cart would come in handy. That will bring one next time, okay? Just try to find the passage. And what do you think I'm doing? We should have gone through the main entrance. I told you that from the very beginning. And do you know where the workroom is? In which part of the house? The man who hired us said it's on the second floor on the northern side. And you've known this the whole time? Sure. You should have asked. You're such an idiot, Brian. Next time you find something out, let me know immediately. If the workroom's in the northern part of the house, the passage might lead somewhere through this wall. If the passage is behind them, we haven't a chance. It doesn't look like it gets used every day. I guess there's a water supply in the house. No way am I going in. His lordship had the fence in the cellar fixed. He's probably afraid of thieves. When you pull it, everything inside grinds to a pulp. Hmm, strange. A candle's missing. Ah, false alarm. I thought the loose screw might have been the switch. If the workroom's in the northern part of the house, I can't see any mechanism. Pity. This would be an ideal place. I have a bad feeling I'm the only one who's working here. Brian, do you have anything? Nothing. Oh, great. Keep searching. Hey, Tim, come here. Stop shouting. Somebody will hear you. I doubt that. The walls are pretty thick. So what do you want? I have work to finish here. Go and get a crowbar. Well, and now you're commanding me, are you? No, just get a crowbar. Please. Happy now? Okay, I'll get it, pal. Catch it. What are you doing? Watch out! Oh, damn. Sorry. Will this do? Yes, that's exactly what I need. Thanks. What do you need it for? I found a loose brick on the wall. I'll try to prise it off. Nothing. Just a false alarm. Oh, Brian, you did it. Unbelievable. What? The passage into the workroom. You found it. Come on. Ah, uh, sure I found it. I'll be right there. Move. Are you asleep or what? I've broken my nail. Go ahead. I'll catch you up. If it was my house, where would I hide the vault?
Strange. White always moves first, but it's the side of black that is turned towards the armchair. The chessboard is fastened to the table, but it's not possible to revolve it. There must be a catch in it. It's too high. The old codger surely can't reach it. If we broke it, the whole house would be awake in no time. All the books are real. This isn't a fake wall. It won't move. It's pretty hard even to draw it back. Nothing in here. I'll take a look somewhere else. I don't care for an old codger's memoir. I want his money. It can't be a bear fur. It's too small. Nothing in here. I'll take a look somewhere else. The old man's clothes. Nothing for me. Nothing. Not even a few pennies. There might be a way to open it, but I can't see any lock or anything. I'm wasting my time. It would be difficult to run with it. I don't want anything I can't put into my pockets. It would be difficult to run. It's too dangerous. I'll stay here. Strange. The books are more messy here than anywhere else. But that doesn't have to mean anything. These books are so tightly packed that none of them can be taken out. Why does the old codger have them? I'm not able to read any of these titles. I'm not sure if it's even English at all. Wait a minute. Who opened the door? Brian. I was afraid it was someone else. God, somebody's sleeping here. Relax. The old codger takes something to help him sleep. He's totally stiff. Oh, well, that really reassures me. What did you expect? I told you he wouldn't move out of his bed. 
Well, if you know that, you can tell me where the vault is and how to open it. Well, that's a bit more difficult. How come? The vault is somewhere in the workroom. It's hidden, but I don't know where. And the old man should have the number code written down somewhere. And let me guess, you don't know that either. Exactly. So you try to find the vault. I'll have a look around here. Great. Let me know when you find it. Who knows what's there? What the hell are you doing? Nothing. I just want to help you. I'll manage. Go to the next room. Something about horse breeding. Nothing for me. It's pretty difficult to run with a book in your trousers. A vault wouldn't fit in. But maybe a purse. If he knew what's going on here, he'd kill us. What the hell are you doing? I'm going to look under the pillow. Are you mad? Relax. I know what I'm doing. I don't want to know what would happen if he woke up. Well, turn around. That was close. What's this supposed to mean? Why is he hiding this? The old codger reads about crossbows, but why is there only one page under the pillow? Where's the rest? No matter what kind of freak he is, the main thing is I can rely on him. No matter what. Look what he'd hidden. Strange, isn't it? What is it? He must have torn it out of a book about guns. That's strange. I thought you were searching for a vault. Well, I just couldn't resist. You know what? Me neither. Look what I have. A tobacco box. Nice one. But I can't open it. Oh, it can't be that difficult. Then you try it, smartass. There must be some kind of a catch. Give it to me. I still can't comprehend why the old man had only the single page with him. Probably I should find the book it fits in. No book about guns. I'll take a look somewhere else. There are some books about guns, but not about crossbows. Hampers the view, that's true. Now that's much better. I can't believe it. It was under my very nose all the time. I thought it could be a false wall, but it's just a bookcase. What's so special about it? 
Plenty of drivel about crossbows. Damn old codger. He carved the inside of the book to hide this. Where did it come from? It sounded as if it came from below the floor, but there can't be any vault. The old codger has it well thought out. I can't tell for sure, but I'll find it out. He doesn't know me yet. My shoes, Brian. I found the vault. There's some kind of a clasp lock. I can't open it. Otherwise, I'll never manage to open it. Now, this will be interesting. I must be careful. I need to crack it just a little. It smashed all the cigars. But the dedication remained legible. Even the date is still clear. 19458. What are you doing here? Who, who are you? Damn! A thief! Help! Shut up, Greybeard! You lazy, thieving vermin! I'll show you! Everyone! Come here! Here! Help me! Help! Don't touch the bell! What are you doing? Let him go! I can't! Bloody hell! You'll kill him, you idiot! Don't worry. They already know we're here, but they can't see us. I'll block the door. It might keep them back. Okay, but quickly! Futile here. The door opens from the other side. It's futile here. Half of the house residents are awake. We have.
The only idea I have is to take it to the next room and block the door. It should hold there for a while. It won't hold there for long, but still, better than nothing. Open the door immediately! We know you're there! I will count to three, then I will break down the door! Hey, pal. Let's get out. They're here. Take the documents, quickly. One, two, three! Oh, the show is over. And what about the old geezer? I don't care. You killed him? No. Let's meet outside. Go! Come on, pal, we're getting out. There's still something left. So take it for God's sake. Wait. They'll be here in a few seconds. Hold still. This is the police. Hands up, quick. This is the end. I have no chance. The pass is over, son. I really didn't want it this way. Forgive me, Brian. We've already got your pal. Keep your hands up and don't try to pull any tricks. I should have listened to you. I'm not joking, boy. I'll count to three. Then we shoot. Get out of here before it's too late. One. It can't end up like that. Two. I don't want to go to jail. Three. But I don't feel like dying either. Gentlemen, I'm yours. Fourteenth of November, 1894. A brutal murder. What are the police concealing about Mad William's funeral? Why was the tomb entrance opened? What beast ripped apart the local gravedigger's body? Read on as we expose another public scandal. The beast is alive and wants blood. When the idle police are doing nothing, the time is right for hunting. I deserve a kicking. How come he managed to take photos of the whole cemetery? I would have seen him. I should call the chief inspector. He'll hear about it anyway. So, here I am. Detective Sergeant Briscoe. Chief Inspector, I was just going to call you. Yes, I read that and I'm as surprised as you are, sir. I think it's a fraud. He managed to take some photos, but he couldn't... Of course, I intended to summon him or arrest him, if it would be needed. Sir, I am not sitting here twiddling my thumbs. I questioned all the suspects that were arrested before the burial. The results are still quite low, but I've just begun. Yes, that's true. We arrested several extortionists, thieves and layabouts, but nobody knew anything. Only a silly rumor is going around. No, sir, I've not received the post-mortem report yet, but I'll get it. I'll have more time for it now. I'll keep you informed. We'll find something sooner or later. Goodbye.
but I must confess this device has an indisputable advantage. In moments like this, I prefer not to talk face to face. Let's sum it up, step by step, 